Hey, my friend, how's it going? So welcome to episode 260. That's a year doing episodes every single weekday. So that's five days a week. 52 weeks a year is 260. So I've been doing 260 of these episodes. And today is about your the top 10 tips to grow your audience, to, to build your fan base, to grow your list. What are the top 10 things in attraction marketing that will attract people to you? We're going to talk about that. And I've decided that on Fridays, I'm going to be doing back to basics. So I do all sorts of different things. Of uh, You know, in Course Income Secrets is like a lot of different topics that have to do with building your business online, with generating income, with the course industry. It's not about creating a course, although there are some episodes on that, hosting on the platform, the, the using platform syndication, all these different things are all about the e-learning boom and using the, the, the attraction marketing to grow your brand. And by the way, if you're listening to the audio, make sure you go to cis260.jsgagnon.com. So that's cis260.jsgagnon.com. So go check it out to watch the video and look and read the blog post on this topic, the top 10 simple online strategies, or the not really, the top 10 um, tips to grow your audience. Here, let's just put it on here. The, uh, it's the top 10 attraction marketing tips to grow your audience. So we're going to talk about that in just a second. Whoops, I turned my, <laughs> sorry, I turned my webcam off. Yeah, we're going to talk about that in just a second, but first this. So the real question is this. What are the strategies, techniques, and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now? My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, and welcome to Course Income Secrets. Microphone. Okay, all right, sorry. So that's, yeah, so we're going to be talking about growing your audience. We're going to be talking about uh different things that have to do with building your brand online right so let's just go say for example the facebook i'm just going to share the screen right here uh where is my so i just actually just finished recording for like almost half an hour without my microphone on <laughs> that is such a frustrating thing to do when you're trying to you're actually trying to get things done before a certain time and I just, I just, anyways, I messed up. So I've been talking, so I don't know. I feel like I'm repeating myself, but I'm not because you haven't heard any of this because, you know, that video that I did, I didn't do. I didn't post because it's, it didn't work out. But anyway, so if you go to Facebook, <coughs> you're going to see that there's all kinds of people posting all kinds of things, right? Obviously, Facebook is a platform that has to do with, um, you know, f personal things, people showing their lives, their lives. And then there's also all these other people that are building their business online. They're trying to sell stuff. What is that? Some of these legs. <coughs> and, you know, they're, it's, it's just all kinds of people posting all kinds of things. So what, what am I trying to say here? So, you know, when you're trying to build your business online, you want to be in those platforms. You want to have people see your stuff. So that's where lots of the stuff I talked about before, like syndication, sharing on all the platforms, creating content <coughs> for the different platforms so that you can, sh you can share uh, on all the platforms in native content. We talked about that in lots of other episodes. And if you're interested in finding out about that, go check out my blog. Uh, there's lots of episodes there. But in any case, the top 10 things today, we talk about the top 10, you know, the top 10 attraction marketing tips. So let's first start by saying, what is attraction marketing? Why do we, what are we talking about when we talk about attraction marketing, right? Attraction marketing, well, first of all, marketing is the process of, um, you know, well, selling stuff, right? It's, it's how to get people to buy stuff. So... Uh, you'll do marketing, they'll do ads on TV, on radio, online, banner ads, the, the ads you see here on the side of the, of the Facebook, right? And those ads are meant to sell you something. They're meant for you, to, for you to take action, right? So that's marketing. 
So now the difference between regular marketing and attraction marketing is that with attraction marketing, which is very almost the same thing, attraction marketing is about getting getting people to to know, like, and trust you, right? It's it's getting them to know, like, and trust you as a person. That's personal branding. And then getting you to know, like, and trust a brand that's just regular marketing like uh, Walmart or Sears or, or Canadian Tire or, I don't know, uh, In-N-Out Burger, <coughs> McDonald's, uh, Subway, you know, all those, all those brands, you trust them because you either have been there, you bought stuff from them and you had no problems or some of your friends told you about it, but you end up liking those brands and trusting them, right? So with attraction marketing online, you want to be doing that so that people get to know, like, and trust you, and you know, combined with personal branding, right? So all these things are to to have one goal: the goal of getting people to know, like, and trust you. So how do you do that? What are the top ten things that you can do to get people there? Now, first, I want to say it's not going to be a, a a week or a month before all this happens. It takes time, and the amount of time it takes is just dependent on how how big your network is already right if you have thousands of people that you're friends with that you you keep constant contact with well you've already built your network so it's easy or it'll be easier for you to grow your brand because one of the things that people look at look for is you know are you connected with others are others saying good things about you that kind of stuff right but when you're starting out like me when I started out, I wasn't online. I'm not an outgoing person that much. I like talking to people, and you know, I'm a, a likable person and everything. But I'm not a person who goes out and 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 needs this 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 connection with others. And like, it's not my personality to have to do that to feel complete or whatever, right? <clears throat> so I don't I don't do that automatically. I don't do that normally. So I'm more solitary, right? So when I started building online, I had no network. I had no connections really other than a few friends or people I work with. <coughs> so I didn't have anything. So it was all to build for me. So for me, um, I started with, you know, social media. I started on social media platform. I started creating content. And even then, today, I don't, I'm not doing, you know, that great on, on creating content, right? Like this person here is posting something that has to do with building a specific you know, she's talking about the $100 per day program, right? <coughs> so $100 per day is a is a great idea, but the thing is that well, that's actually not something you want to be doing. No, well, you don't necessarily want to be posting about as your offer specifically. Uh, there's some negativity around that, and we're going to cover that in a second. Okay, let's just talk about. Okay, so first, if you go to my blog, <coughs> you're going to see that I have. Whoops, I got a hair in front of my face. You're going to see that I've been I've been posting about the election the last few days, and I post about all sorts of different things that have to do with building your brand online, with growing your audience, with 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 creating courses, with hosting platforms, with promoting things. So affiliate marketing, there's all sorts of different things. But one thing you're going to find <coughs> is on the side I have two uh, free eBooks right there, the 12 Critical Steps to Online Success, which you just click on it to go get it. And then the top 10 simple online strategy, we're going to talk about that today, uh, that have to do with attraction marketing, right? The top 10 simple online strategies that actually attract customers and team members to you, right? So when you click on that, you end up here on this page where you can get your free copy of the ebook. You just put your name and email in here and click the button, <coughs> and you're going to get that ebook, right? Uh, when you click that, you'll get an email with this ebook in your inbox. And this ebook is basically an ebook on how to grow your fans, how to build your net, your network, what are the things you need to watch out for, what are the things you should do, what are the things you shouldn't do. It talks about all that in here, right? So, I mean, <coughs> it's all about, like, for example, this is being congruent, right? you got to be congruent on your network. And you got to have certain things set up a certain way and let's let's go to the top of the list here let's go back to the top I should just scroll up like this okay so let's see so first of all what did I talk about what is attraction marketing right we kind of covered that a little bit what is attraction marketing attraction marketing is about getting people to 
know you, to like you and trust you. So how does that work? So by creating content regularly and hosting it, posting it on social media platforms, you're getting people to know you, right? You're getting people to know you, to see who you are, what you're about, what your values are. And it's they're getting to, to well, that said, they're getting to know you, right? And you want them to know you so that they can like you. Because if if they don't know you, they're not going to like you. You can't, you don't like anybody you don't know, right? Until you know them, that's the only way you're going to get to like them, right? And that's what you want. You want people to like you. And for and why do you want them to like you? Because you want them to trust you and you're not going to trust anybody you don't like. So that means you have to know them so that you get to like them so that they get to trust you, right? So once they trust you, that's that's where you they'll buy from you. <clears throat> so they'll look at your stuff. They'll click on your links. They'll put your their name and email in your forms. They'll they'll put their credit card info in in the forms to buy your stuff. That's that's how it is. Like I mean, you're watching this. You're clicking around. You've gotten this ebook because you've been following me. You've you've been seeing me online. You've been and you kind of like me and you started trusting me. And now you're like, okay, I'm going to click on this. I'm going to go check it out, right? That's kind of how you got here, right? And if you get this ebook, again, it's because you like me and trust me. And I'm, I'm not being, you know, whatever. I'm just saying that's kind of how it works, right? So, so, okay. So, number one, set a good profile picture. What do I mean by setting a good profile picture, right? A good profile picture is a profile picture of you. It's a picture of you alone. Typically a headshot, unless you're into a weight loss or or um, or your body, you know, or you're an actor or something, you might want to have a full body shot so people can see your body. But typically it's just your face because you got to remember whenever you post on social media, your profile picture is used in all the different posts and it's very small. So if you have your whole body, you won't necessarily see your face there, right? Uh, so that's that's the one thing. The other thing is. Don't post a picture of you and your wife or husband or you and your kids or your dog or your house. I mean, all that's great. And people who know you already will recognize who you are. But people who don't know you, they're going to look at your picture and they'll be like, who, who is in the picture? Who in the picture is the person I'm, you know, looking at, right? Your profile has to be letting them know who you are and where you're from and all that, right? So, um... Okay, so I'm just uh, checking something out here, right there. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. So, okay. So, anyways, yeah. So that's the thing. So that's number one. Number number two is make your post public. You you, you you're posting. You you got a business. You're online. Don't make your Instagram profile private so people have to request to connect to even see your stuff. Don't make your post on Facebook just for your friends. So that only your friends can see your stuff, and anybody who's, you know, looking for to, to connect with somebody who's who's into whatever you're into, they won't connect with you because they won't know you're into that, right? They need to see your stuff. You got to make your posts public. In the in the C book, I certainly go through the steps on how to do that. And just, uh, but but why do you do that? Just think of a a corner store or a store on the side of the street. If you're walking by the street and you're walking by the store. And the store has just everything's boarded up and you can't see inside the store to see what they even sell. Would are you are you gonna walk in that store just to go see what's there? No, you're not. You're just gonna keep walking by. You're not even gonna notice the store probably, right? So that's the difference between being public and being private. The public, the store that's public has these big windows you can see right inside exactly what they have. They even have these displays in the in the <laughs> in the front so you can actually see what they sell and they try to attract you to come into the store to buy something, right? Online is no different. You want people to come in. You want them to go look at your profile. You want them to connect with you. You want them to have conversation with you. You want them to see your stuff, right? So that's make sure your posts are public. Don't post company or product name. Oh my God, that's a big one. And it's, it's sometimes hard because you might be thinking, well, I don't want to be secretive. I, I want to be open. I want people to know. I don't want them to think I'm trying to hide something. And you know, that's great. But the thing is, you got to remember, the online world is not exactly um, perfect. 
And if you search for your company name, scan, you know, uh, you know, my company scan is my company is a scan or whatever. You search for that, you're going to find a whole bunch of them that say your company is a scam. Believe, believe me, trust me. But you go ahead and try it. You're going to find some, and that's the thing. So if some, if you post your company name and product name, people are going to search for it. They're going to look it up to see if it's a good company to be buyer of or good product to buy or whatever. And there's two things that can happen. Either they find all these negative things and they say it's not for me, or they actually find great posts to talk about your company and say how great it is, how great the product is, and you're brand new and they find all these other people that are selling the same thing as you, and they, they see this other person that's got huge success compared to you, and they decide, I'm going to buy from that person instead of you. So you lose the sale there that way too, right? So that's that's why you don't post company and product name. You don't you don't want people to go off and find out that and go to somebody else, right? Uh, okay, so another one. Choose a single strategy. So when you're start, especially when you're starting out. I mean, right now I've been online for years and I'm posting to all the different platforms. I'm doing the different contents. I've got syndication going. I've got a platform I'm building. All these things are happening. But I mean, I certainly wasn't doing that when I started. When I started, and when you're starting out, you've got to choose a single strategy. You've got to choose one thing and focus on it and really get good at it and just do it, right? And as soon when you're at a point where you feel comfortable adding other things, adding other things, adding other things, that's fine. Then you can do syndication. You can do, you know... Uh, uh, sharing to all the platforms and all this stuff, right? But in the beginning, choose one strategy. What do I, what do I mean by st strategy? I mean, like, I'm posting on Facebook every day. I'm creating a YouTube video every day. I'm uh, posting on Instagram every day. I'm engaging on on my uh, comments on Facebook. I'm doing this. I'm doing that, right? All these things are basically uh, the, you know, the strategy, right? It could be a blog post, it could be, but whatever it is, Twitter, Inst you know, Instagram, TikTok, whatever strategy you choose, keep that strategy for a long time. And it could be six months, could be a year, just keep going at that strategy, focus on that strategy, because in the beginning, it might not do anything. After a couple of weeks, it might, you might get a lot of results. And then all of a sudden it goes back down, but that doesn't mean it's not working. It's just the platforms. You got to remember the platforms have algorithms, right? So brand your name. Number five, brand your name. Just brand you as a person, not your company. I mean, your company, if you're part of a network, especially network marketing companies, some of them are really bad for this. They want you, and that's one of the reasons why people post company names and product names, because the company is encouraging you to do that. Of course they're encouraging you to do that. They want, they want people to see them. They want people to see their, their products. They want people to see their company name, their headquarters, their, their events, all this. They want people to see them. That what, that's what you want, too. That's what everybody wants. We all want people to see us. So the network marketing companies, they want them to they want people to see them so that's why they encourage their distributors like you to post about them and that gives them publicity that gives them people attracted to them right at, at, to a certain level right so you don't want you want to be branding yourself just like they want to brand themselves and if they don't like you talking about yourself and not talking about them maybe they're not the company for you but uh, but that's really you got to be doing that you got to be branding yourself cuz you're trying to attract your people to you not to the product you're selling i mean what if you change company right you want to be attracting people to you all right number 6 be congruent so the same everywhere that's kind of like so if you're uh, if you look at my facebook page not fa facebook's probably a bad example cuz facebook is very personal for me but if you look at all my other social media TikTok, uh, link, linkedin twitter instagram pinterest my blog if you look at all those things you're going to see that i have the same profile picture the same cover photo the same bio all these things are the same everywhere so that people if they find me on one platform or the other they'll recognize, oh, that's the guy I saw, you know, um, over there. He's over here. So it's going to be the same thing. So that's, you want to be congruent. So the other thing is number seven, define a DMO, a daily method of operation. So every single day, you've got to be doing something specific. 
that's that you're doing every day, right? So what are the specifics of, of what you got to do? It really depends. You can be posting on, say, say for example, your DMO, daily method of operation, is I'm going to post one post to Facebook or two posts or three posts or whatever it is. Uh, let's say it's three. So I'm going to post a post at between 7 to 9 a.m. I'm going to do another post uh, between noon and 1, and I'm going to do another post between 7 and 9 p.m., right? So I'm posting these three posts. You do that every single day. That's one thing that you can do, but I mean, obviously that's not enough. You got to do a little bit more than that, but let's say it takes you 10 minutes to post or five minutes to create and, you know, 10 minutes to create uh, these posts, then you're posting them, but you also have to do engagement. You have to do, uh, so there's other things you got to do, but the point is you do the same thing every day. So you decide, okay, I'm going to connect with five people every day. I'm going to comment on 10 posts every day. So do those things, and I'm actually pretty bad at that, but I understand the value of being consistent. And for me, I'm consistent. I'm creating a video every day. I'm creating syndication every day. I'm sharing it to all my platforms every day. I'm creating a blog post every day. So I do that. That's what I do. I don't do the other stuff I'm telling you about that you can do easily in the beginning, which I did do in the beginning, right? I, I would do that. Um, now it's different for me, but it's still consistency every single day doing the same thing, right? All right, so engage on everything. That is a big one when you're starting out because one of the things is you're going to find that the platforms will not share your stuff if you're not active. They reward people for being consistent, being active, being, being present because that's what they want. They want people to be on the platform, doing things on the platform. So if, if you're doing that, they're going to reward you because you're going to be like, you're the right, you're the kind of person we want on here. So here you go. I'm going to share your stuff to other people. You know how the news feed works, right? On Facebook, you got this news feed where there's all these posts, right? And all these posts <coughs> that people are seeing are based on whether the platform decides to show them to people. I mean, if you ask your friends, I got 4,000 4, some friends, right? I post, uh, you know, I don't two, three times a day. And... I get crickets most of the time. And that's because I don't do a lot of engagement. And the days, the, the, the weeks, I should say, it takes a couple days. If I decide I'm going to spend, you know, half an hour every day engaging on other people's stuff, uh, within a couple days, I'm going to start seeing comments on my stuff. And it's not because I engage on their stuff and they come, come to my profile and look at stuff. Is because Facebook shows my stuff because I'm engaging on other people's stuff. Facebook is like, oh, this person is engaging. I'm going to share their stuff so that they, they get some engagement on their stuff. They deserve it, right? That's kind of what that is. Connect daily. So connecting daily is another important thing that you want to do to build your brand, to build your audience. You've got to connect to people every single day. So that means sending them a message, looking at the profile, looking at what they're doing commenting on their stuff, connecting daily, right? Sending friend requests, sending connection requests on LinkedIn, <coughs> following people on Instagram, on Twitter, right? So that's connecting daily. So back and forth messages. Uh, you don't spend hours talking to people about all sorts of things, but you start a conversation. Just connect, just connect, right? So and number 10, learn the 80-20 rule. What's the 80-20 rule? Maybe the 90-10 rule, even the 95-5 rules, 99-1 rule. So the point is there's a certain number of posts and content that you create that should be what we call value-driven, value-based, and, and a certain percentage that should be promotion-based, right? So when we talk about value-based, we're talking about posting things that have to do with what people are interested in and you're not asking them for anything in return. You're just posting about your content that your audience would be interested in and you're not asking them to buy anything. You're not asking them to go click anywhere. You're not asking them, you know, for things that that uh, require them to pay, right? Or, or spend lots of time. Although, uh, yeah, that's kind of like, you know, posting content is... So you post content on your social media platforms, right? And once a, once every 10 posts or once every 20 posts, right, the, the percentage rule. So if we go with the 80-20 rule, that means out of 10 posts, eight of them are going to be value-driven. And the kinds of value-driven posts 
Uh, we talk about that. I talk about that in this, obviously, in the ebook. But it's kind of like uh, family posts, your lifestyle posts, your uh, results posts, your um, what else? Uh, education posts, things you're teaching them things. So all these are, are value-based posts, right? And your promotion posts, so you have two out of ten for the 80-20 rule. So you have two of them that are, you know, go to this site to go get my, like, go get, to go buy my, uh, my, my, my course. Or go buy, I'm, here's my product, I'm, I'm selling this product. Uh, <laughs> and I'm not saying to post a picture of product, I'm just saying you, uh, when we talk about products, selling things, you want to be doing, um, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? You want to be doing some, some results-based posting, not uh, product-based posting. Like, for example, you're going to talk about how you lost weight using this pill or this, 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 this recipe or using this, this, this shake, right? How you lost weight over time and how, you know, you got all the people telling you how, how you look great and it feels good and you sleep better and all this right the results you got not i've got this amazing powder it's called abc powder and it costs 30 32 dollars a month and for one month supply and you can just go and get it here no no that's not what i'm talking about but still you're talking you want to do promotion based posts only twice in every 10 and and like i said if you do the 90 10 rule instead that'll be nine posts and then one promotion so you know that's kind of what that rule means. <clears throat> so the other things I you see in this in this in this ebook is there's don't post links, how to avoid Facebook jail, there's three stages of building business on social media, also the attraction market, what's attraction marketing, why reaching your why reaching your friends is not important. You know, define your audience, target marketing the avatar. So I talk about all these other things in this ebook so that you can go get for free, like I said. Just by going to jsgagnon.com or jeansergegagnon.com, you can go to cis260.jsgagnon.com and you're going to see today's episode and you're going to see, whoops, where's my mouse? And you're going to see the ebook is right there on the right hand side of the site, the right hand side of the site, right? And you're going to be able to go and get your own copy right there. All right, hopefully you enjoyed this and you will go get that ebook. And if you have any questions, you can always reach out and we'll see you in the next episode. This has been in Course Income Secrets, the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.